Lord, you are my refuge and fortress, a very present help in trouble. As your word says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. In the whirlwind of life, I seek to find your peace, that peace which surpasses all understanding, the peace that only you can give. As the psalmist cried out, one thing I have asked from the Lord that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. O oh God, how I long to be in your presence. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O living God. Great are you, Lord, and worthy of all praise. We bow before you, acknowledging your holiness and majesty, for you are good, and your mercy endures forever. Your goodness, Lord, is a river that flows unceasingly, quenching the thirst of my soul and refreshing my weary spirit. O Lord, how wonderful it is to know that you are the God of all creation, the creator of heaven and earth, and yet you incline to hear the cries of your children, you who stretch out the heavens like a curtain and lay the foundations of the earth, have chosen to dwell in the midst of the praises of your people. Great are you, O God, and worthy to be praised. There is none like you, neither in heaven nor on earth. Your glory transcends human understanding, and your majesty is incomparable. Lord, as I meditate on your word, I am reminded of how you call us to trust fully in you. When you said to be still, you were not just speaking of outer silence, but of an unshakable trust in your intervention. Just as you spoke to your people in the wilderness, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. I rest in you, knowing that you are in control of all things. Dwelling in your secret place, Lord, is my desire, for under the shadow of the Almighty I find rest. When the storms of life rage around me, I know I am safe under your wings. I choose your presence, Father, as my place of refuge and strength, where I can be renewed and restored. When I think of the many times your people found themselves trapped with no way out, and you, with your mighty hand, delivered them, I am filled with a peace that reminds me that you are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. When the Egyptians pursued the Israelites and the sea lay before them, you parted the waters, showing that nothing is impossible for you. The same God who divided the waters is the God who fights for me today. Oh, how comforting it is to know that the Lord who made heaven and earth cares for me with an everlasting love. Father, as I meditate on your word, I am led to contemplate the depth of your love and the vastness of your grace. You have called us to intimacy, to deep communion with you. When you said, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, you invited us to a place of safety and peace. This is where my soul finds rest where I can be renewed, where the burdens of life become light. It is in your presence that I find the fullness of joy and at your right hand, pleasures forevermore. When the cares of the world try to consume me, I remember that the Lord is with me, that your rod and your staff comfort me. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Lord, you are my shepherd, and I shall not want. You make me lie down in green pastures, you lead me beside still waters. You restore my soul. You guide me in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Lord, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. When the way ahead seems uncertain, it is your word that illuminates my mind and guides me. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. The knowledge that you are with me is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. When I am in darkness, you are my light. When I am lost, you are my guide. You are the God who hears and answers prayer. Like the Samaritan woman at the well, who sought to quench her physical thirst but found in you the source of living water, I too come to you, Lord, seeking not just what temporarily satisfies, but what satisfies eternally. You, Lord, are my bread of life. You, Lord, are my living water. In you, I find all that my soul desires. You are the eternal God, the creator of the ends of the earth, who neither faints nor is weary. Your understanding is unsearchable. You give strength to the weary, and to those who have no might, you increase their strength. As your word says, those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. 
They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I acknowledge your sovereignty, O God, over every area of my life. Jesus, you have been exalted above every name, and before you every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth, and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord, to the glory of God the Father. May your name be exalted above all things in my life, for in you is all power, honor, and glory forever. Lord, when I look at the stars in the sky, I see your majesty. When I behold the mountains, I see your strength. When I hear the sound of the waters, I perceive your presence. You who created everything with a word, uphold all things by the word of your power. Your word does not return void, but accomplishes all that it was sent to do. O oh God, how wonderful it is to know that despite the greatness of your power, you still care for me, like a shepherd cares for his sheep. You guide me, you sustain me, you protect me. Lord, when I feel weak, I remember that your grace is sufficient for me and that your power is made perfect in my weakness. When my strength fails and the challenges seem insurmountable, it is in you that I find renewal. Like the eagle that soars with powerful wings, so you lift me above the circumstances, renew my strength, and give me a new perspective. I trust in your sovereignty, Lord. I trust that all your plans are perfect and that everything works together for the good of those who love you. Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Everything that exists was created by you and for you. The entire universe is under your control. Nothing escapes your watchful eye. You know every star by name, and none of your purposes can be thwarted. When I look at the vastness of your power, I am reminded that your sovereignty extends to every aspect of my life. There is no detail that you do not see, no concern that you do not understand. You are the God who knows every thought before it even enters my mind. You know every word before it is spoken. Nothing is hidden from you. Oh God, how this comforts me. Knowing that I am in the hands of the Almighty, that nothing happens without your permission, gives me peace amid the storms of life. Lord, you are the God who raises kings and topples nations. Your sovereignty rules over all things. When I think of the great kingdoms of the earth that have passed away, I am reminded that your kingdom is eternal. Your throne is established forever. And as your child, I have the privilege of being part of your kingdom. Oh, how this fills me with joy and gratitude. You have chosen me, redeemed me, and adopted me into your royal family. How can I not worship you, Lord? How can I not declare your sovereignty over my life? May every aspect of my life be under your rule. May I obey you in all things, recognizing that you are the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Father, transform my heart, renew my mind so that I may experience the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. May I not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of my mind. Give me wisdom, Lord, for as your word says, if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally. Grant me, O God, the discernment needed to follow your will in all circumstances. Clothe me with your armor so that I may stand firm on the evil day, and after having done everything to stand firm. Gird my loins with truth, cover me with the breastplate of righteousness, and fit my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Give me the shield of faith with which I can extinguish all the fiery darts of the evil one, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Lord, amid daily battles, I cry out for your protection. As a soldier prepares for war, I prepare spiritually, knowing that the battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Lord, you are my fortress, my rock, my stronghold. You are my refuge in the day of trouble, my deliverer in the midst of adversity. I know that in you I am safe, for you are the God who guards my life. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and my righteousness is from you. Father, I ask for a pure heart, one that rejoices in your presence, that seeks holiness in everything I do. I ask that you transform me into the image of Christ so that I may reflect your love, grace, and mercy to everyone around me. Lord, mold me and make me a vessel of honor, useful for your service, prepared for every good work. May your spirit dwell in me richly, 
guiding me into all truth, instructing me in the way I should go. May I grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men. Father, may my life be a living testimony of your glory. May I be salt of the earth and light of the world, reflecting your light in a world of darkness. May I be an ambassador of your kingdom, bringing your message of love, hope, and salvation to everyone I encounter. Lord, equip me to be an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring love. Where there is offense, let me bring forgiveness. Where there is discord, let me bring unity. Where there is doubt, let me bring faith. Where there is error, let me bring truth. Where there is despair, let me bring hope. Where there is sadness, let me bring joy. Where there is darkness, let me bring light. Lord, I ask that you guard my mind and heart in Christ Jesus. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard my thoughts and emotions. May I not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present my request to God. May my faith be strengthened, knowing that the Lord hears my prayers and answers according to your perfect will. Father, protect me from evil, from sin, from the temptations that surround me. May I not fall into temptation but be delivered from evil. Lord, guide me in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. May I walk in integrity, in righteousness, in truth. May my life be an example of holiness, purity, and dedication to you. May I flee from sin, from evil, from impurity, and seek holiness in every area of my life. Lord, I cry out for spiritual protection for myself and my family. May we be clothed with the armor of God, protected against the schemes of the enemy. May our faith be strengthened, our hope renewed, and our love for you and for others grow each day. May we stand firm in faith, unshakable in the face of life's storms, fully trusting in the Lord and in your word. Father, may your grace always be present in my life. May I live under the shadow of your mercy, knowing that I do not deserve your love, but that you offer it abundantly. May my life be an expression of gratitude for your grace, for your goodness, for your forgiveness. May I never forget where you brought me from, from the pit of sin, from the darkness of iniquity, and may I always praise you for bringing me into your marvelous light. Lord, today I renew my commitment to serve you with all my heart. As Joshua declared, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So I also declare that my life is surrendered to you, and I desire to follow you all the days of my life. May your word be my constant guide. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Help me, Lord, to live according to your commandments, to love your law, and to meditate on it day and night. May I be like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, and whatever I do prospers. Lord, I commit to seeking your face daily, to putting you first in every area of my life. May your kingdom and your righteousness be the priority of my heart. May I not seek earthly things, but rather the things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. May my mind always be focused on spiritual things, on your word, on your kingdom. Lord, I commit to being a diligent student of your word. May I grow in the knowledge of you, in understanding your will, in divine wisdom. May your word be a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. May I keep your commandments in my heart so that I may not sin against you. May I be an example of faithfulness to your word, obeying your commandments and living according to your will. Lord, I commit to living a life of prayer, of communion with you. May prayer be my foundation, my source of strength, my connection with the living God. May I pray without ceasing, presenting to you all my concerns, thanking you for all your blessings, interceding for others, seeking your face at all times. Let prayer be my first resource in times of need and my constant habit in times of peace. Lord, I commit to loving my neighbor as myself. May I reflect your love in all my relationships, showing compassion, patience, kindness, forgiveness. May I be a channel of your love, bringing comfort to the afflicted, hope to the desperate, help to the needy. May I live in harmony with all, always seeking peace and reconciliation. Lord, I commit to seeking holiness in every area of my life. May I live a blameless life, fleeing from evil, 
rejecting sin, pursuing purity. May my life be a pleasing offering to you, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is my reasonable service. May I be set apart for you, living in conformity with your will, being an example of holiness to others. Lord, I commit to serving your kingdom with the gifts and talents you have given me. May I use the abilities you have bestowed upon me to glorify your name, to edify your church, to extend your kingdom on earth. May I be a faithful servant who uses well the talents entrusted to me, who works diligently in your field, always seeking your glory in all that I do. Lord, I commit to living in total dependence on your Holy Spirit. May I walk in the Spirit, not fulfilling the desires of the flesh, but living according to your will. May the fruit of the Spirit be evident in my life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. May I be guided by your Spirit in all my decisions, in all my actions, in all my words. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon my life, as prophesied, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. I cry out for a spiritual revival, that your fire may burn in my heart, purifying me, sanctifying me. As you are holy, Lord, help me to be holy in all my ways. May I be set apart for you, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is my reasonable service. May your Spirit lead me in holiness, that I may walk according to the Spirit and not according to the flesh. Teach me, Lord, to live a life consecrated to you, seeking the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Father, I cry out for a revival in my life, in my family, in my church, in my city, in my nation. May your Holy Spirit be poured out in abundance, bringing life to the dead, light to the darkness, hope to the hopeless. May your fire purify our hearts, removing all sin, all impurity, all idols. May we be a holy people, consecrated to you, set apart for your service. Lord, I cry out for a spiritual revival, where hardened hearts are softened, where sinners repent, where the lost are saved, where captives are set free. May your name be exalted. May your kingdom be established. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. May we witness a great move of your spirit, where multitudes are drawn to you, where your church is strengthened, where your gospel is preached with power and authority. Lord, I cry out for holiness in my life. May I be holy as you are holy. May I flee from sin, reject evil, pursue purity. May I live a blameless life without spot or wrinkle, without anything that displeases you. May my heart be pure. May my thoughts be pleasing to you. May my words be true. May my actions be just. May I live in conformity with your will being an example of holiness to others. Lord, I cry out for a holy church, purified, without spot or wrinkle. May your church be a beacon of light in a dark world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. May your people be a holy people, set apart for you, living in conformity with your will. May your church be strengthened, built up, united, full of your spirit. May we be a living testimony of your grace, of your love, of your holiness. Praise be to the Lord, for He is good. His mercy endures forever. To you, O God, I render all praise and gratitude, for in you I find my salvation. Lord, I surrender myself completely to you, recognizing that from you, through you, and to you are all things. To you be the glory forever. May my life be a reflection of your glory. May your name be exalted in all my actions. Praise be to your name, O Lord, for all that you have done, for your love and faithfulness, which are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lord, I surrender every area of my life to you. May I hold nothing back for myself, but may all be yours for your glory. May my plans, my dreams, my desires be submitted to your will. May I not seek my own glory, but may your name be exalted in everything I do. May my life be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you, which is my reasonable service. Lord, I surrender completely to you. May your will be done in my life. May your kingdom come. May your name be glorified. May I decrease and may you increase. May my life be a living testimony of your grace, of your love, of your mercy. 
May I live in full obedience to you, following your commandments, living according to your word. Lord, I surrender everything to you. May my worries, my fears, my doubts be placed in your hands. May I trust fully in you, knowing that you are in control of all things. May my faith be strengthened. May my hope be renewed. May my love for you grow each day. May I live in peace knowing that the Lord is with me, that you will never leave me nor forsake me. Amen, Lord, so be it. I trust that all the words spoken here are before you and that you are faithful to fulfill your promises. May my life be a living testimony of your grace and mercy, and may I walk every day in your presence until the day I see you face to face. In Jesus' name, amen.